Hello and welcome to another video of Sweet Pea Gaming. So today's video is going to be on Team Fortress 2. <coughs> now the gun the gun metal update came out about two months ago, I think. And there are new cases for it for the Team Fortress 2. And I am doing an unboxing video today for four crates. Uh Two of them are powerhouse, and two of them are, I think they're, there's some kind of new one, but never mind, um, the gunmetal is, this cases are having a sale this weekend, I think, uh, at least that's when I bought them, five, one of them is five cents, one of them is ten cents, it's a really cheap deal, I suggest it, if you like but it's totally your choice. So let's get into the game. And here is the powerhouse and the concealed killer. So <coughs> we're going to, oh. we're going to open this. Let's see what we get. And we got the turbine torture, which is okay, I think. So, it's looks kind of cool. Let's open the other one. Please, please! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's cool. King of the jungle. So we got the king of the jungle. Two more, two more, baby, two more. Okay, I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, that's awesome. That's kind of cool. I'm hoping for a sniper rifle. Last one. Oh, mother. Better than a bad idea. Hopefully. What? That's kind of cool. Uh, it's, it's flamethrower, though. That was all. I'm going to go into my heavy. Clip King of the Jungle, and let's, I'm going to go to multiplayer, I'm just going to keep it simple, payload, <coughs> and I'm just going to test all of them, see how they work, if they're good, let's just keep a really, really simple map, uh, I don't want to go too complicated. And then we're just going to go in. You know, if uh, you unbox a lot, you probably get like a mercenary grade or something. But if you know what mercenary grade is. Oh, that's a little loud. Sorry about that. We're just going to test this. Okay. This is kind of cool. I mean, the colors are really cool, you know? I mean, I, I love unboxing stuff, but sometimes you can get really bad stuff. I think this is mercenary grin, maybe. I mean, it's kind of cool, you know? Let's do spider oops sorry turbine torture my bad okay let's the looks are kind of cool if you like taunts please uh, tell me about them I have no idea how to work these taunts I think tots are a little bit of a waste of money, if you know what I mean. They're kind of overpriced. And I am alive. Okay. Oh, there's... Oh. Uh, crud. I'm going to have to die. 
I died. Okay. Let's check out the... We didn't really see much action in that one. Okay, let's get out of that. <coughs> so, let's keep on moving. Keep on moving. Let's not watch this guy because he is very boring and just standing there. And, uh... Some people say, um, that there are different types of, uh, loadouts, like, uh, and, like, there are different kind of things that work well with different loadouts. I mean, I totally, I don't know, I, I really don't like to experiment with this stuff, but if you, in my opinion, the drive for a sniper is pretty good, the family business eight rounds that's going to be pretty powerful non-stop you're just going to wreck everyone and blow them out of the park if you do then i would the family business is good i'd watch youtube videos before i would get mine i learned that the hard way <laughs> sorry about this um the unboxing is kind of a risk Uh, you should definitely use your secondary weapon, shoot people, use your air blast, uh, what other weapon did I get? Let's edit the loadout. Okay, floor is better. The colors on these ones are kind of cool. I mean, <coughs> unboxing doesn't have like the most superstar, awesome OP weapons. The weapons are mostly on color. If you like color, then I suggest getting doing unboxing, maybe unboxing videos. If you have your own YouTube account. Uh, Definitely use your scorch shot. I'm, I'm uh, really highly advising. Uh, let's escape items. Backpack. New. No. Oh, then we got the aquamarine. Sorry, I kind of forgot about my aquamarine. Let's be soldier. <coughs> I don't think color really matters. I think it's more about the weapon's damage and what you use with the weapon. It's basically all your opinion. I I I assume, but <coughs> if I were going to get something, I would probably want to get uh maybe some rocket launchers because rocket launchers and snipe and um, rocket launchers, sniper rifles, uh, secondary weapons for pyro. The first one doesn't really matter, actually. You think it's all about the degreaser, that's only for defense. Oh, that was random crit. Awesome. These are awesome. The random crits on these are kind of going a little mm. nutty. Uh, what's this called? King of the Jungle. I could have gotten Red Rock, Sand Cannon, Psycholytic Slugger, Purple Range. Oh, Purple Range. I would like to get the Purple Range. Uh, Night Owl. If you guys want to suggest any more unbox don't I mean <coughs> uh, if you like to do uh, YouTube videos I suggest doing unboxings uh, Tommy Slavs people these days in TF2 are just nutty you know what I mean um, let me just give one more little tip. Baby's Face Blaster and Baby's Face Blaster, Pretty's Boy's Pocket Pistol, and Sandman is my loadout. 
I sometimes use the soda popper and sometimes use the scatter gun. It all depends on how what I'm doing. Critical uh, bonk atomic punch. Bonk atomic punch is very good if you are about to die. And wingers, okay. S okay. Critical. Uh, I wouldn't suggest critical because you don't know what if you're gonna run into um another enemy. Uh, <coughs> Boston Basher. It's bad. <coughs> if you miss, then you hit yourself and start bleeding. Holy mackerel, it's okay. Not really much of any really super ability. The Sandman is actually good. I I think people underestimate its power. And then let's go to the soldier. Soldier's rocket jumping is very good. Airstrike. Uh, black box. Black box is a good one. On on hit, gain up to tr gain up to twenty percent, twenty health per attack. So the clip size doesn't really matter. I don't know if it really matters. I don't. I don't feel like it matters. Livery launcher. It's really good. Minus twenty five brax da damage from rocket jumps. Twenty forty percent projectile speed. Minus twenty five clip size. Airstrike, it's it's also fifth minus fifteen. It's yeah, it all depends on what you want. Shotguns. If you're gonna get a shotgun for Pyro and uh Soldier, you should definitely get the reverse reserve shooter. Market Gardener, it's awesome. Um half Sochi, if you're playing Dead Group Keep, I would I highly suggest it because on Demo Man, um <coughs> It's all melee. Use your base jumper for your first secondary because you're not going to be able to use it. Then use your sheet, um, charge and charge or whatever. That gives you a boost. I don't, I can't remember it. Pyro. Here's a, here's a big, big tip. Use your air blast. Power jack. It's awesome. Use it. Uh, Scorch shot, it's good. One hunch, mini crits, knockback, explodes, and increase knockback on in burning players. So that's pretty good. Degreaser, if I get, I rec I kind of recommend the degreaser because <coughs> you can reverse the uh, rockets. I don't know if you can. Here, let's go back here. I don't know if you can with um other but other uh flamethrowers but i know that the degreaser is very good i mean like look at this this weapon holster is 30 percent faster this weapon displays 60 percent faster extinguishing teammates restores 20 health after burn that it doesn't really do anything i've never done it minus 25 air blast cost it's only gonna be like about 20 think yeah 20 for an air blast it's good you shoot them into the sky you take out your scorch shot or your flare gun you shoot them they're gonna die and once they're and you get them in a corner then you get your power jack out and hit them with the power jack it's simple one two three forest fire scorch shot and power jack it's all that's all it is demo man um <coughs> I only have the grenade launcher. I had more. I had lock and load. I had all that stuff. All these. I suggest sticky bomb launcher. Quick bomb. It fizzles for seconds. If if somebody's coming out of spawn and something, if you know that they're chasing you, I use the quick bomb launcher a lot of the times. If you like to get in chases, Scottish resistance. It's a little uh, confusing because once it's lights up blue or red whatever team you're on if it's blue if you're on blue then it lights up blue if you're on a red it lights up red and it'll light up red and then that means it's able to destroy and then it will come back and not be able to blow up so it's kind of confusing but if i were you i would use um <coughs> probably islander or maybe a pool carver uh if you want to keep it simple, 
maybe Miss Knee's Iron, but it's it all depends. Now let's talk about the heavy. So the heavy Brass Beast, not the best. Tommy Slav, it's okay. If you have Medic, it's really good because then the Medic covers all your heal. Because the um, Tommy Slav has to has slow firing speed, and I I used to use the minigun. I mean the brass beast is not that good. Oops, sorry for my bad. The family business very good. Buffalo steak sandwich. Use that in um the dead group keep map. It's a new map. Came out about a m maybe a month ago. Uh, this is the eviction notice. It's actually pretty good because it has more faster sp firing speed. Then they have 15% faster move on wearer and gain a speed boost on hit. Once your heavy gets hits, he's gonna go faster, and then he can chase after, s and maybe he can chase after pyros and stuff. He's gonna be able to chase all over that those people. That's kind of good. Uh, however, 60 damage penalty, 20 minus 20 percent, oh, 20 percent damage of vulnerability on rear. If you don't like any of these, just go default. I mean, default is actually kind of good. I use default a lot too. So engineer, I use the Palmazon a lot. The Palmazon 6000. Front frontier justice sometimes I mean you get crits for every century kill you could just kill on your own I mean I like the Palmazon it's about six I mean 40 damage every shot every shot so in about three shots they're about to die and you only get five shots until you need to pump it back up and the Wrangler don't use the short circuit it's bad doesn't do a lot of damage um, <coughs> the Wrangler, it's actually good because you can take control, however, once you take it off, the shield is still around it and the sentry is down, and then you, c and then it can't fire until it gets back up, so, I, I think it's pretty good, but, in my opinion, it's okay, I haven't found any wrenches or construction pads, I don't think you get any construction pads, Okay, so the Crusader's crossbow. You can f shoot bows, little bolts, out of this thing. It's going to shoot right here, and you can shoot at your teammates, and they could be spies or anything, and you can heal your teammates by just shooting them with this crossbow. Think of how good that is. The quick fix now, this is really good. 40% heal rate, 25% overrate minus 50 percent max overheal but i mean that's pretty good and once you use your uh uh what's it called i can't remember the um once you use the it for its uh uber charge um it'll form a blue or red circle around you it's not going to be indestructible like the medigun it's actually a little better because then it's just healing and it, it's getting a little more, I think, no, it's not crits, uh, but it's actually really good because once you get hit, you're healing immediately after, really fast. So then the amputator, three health regenerate per second on wearer. Think of how good that is. Outfire, appeals a healing effect to all nearby team. I never knew that, man. I'm using that now. Uh, some people use the Uber saw. Uber saw depends if you're a medic with the <coughs> medi gun. Excuse me. Uh, then I would definitely use it. I mean, considering the fact that it's going to be very the Uber saw with it, the medi gun just gives them into the heavy or whatever. Um, whoever you're healing, an indestructible. And then, that's basically really good, except for this air blast, pyros, and sniper. I use default, man, I use default. I, sometimes classic, machina, hardly ever the classic, fortified compound on a uh, degrant keep, 
dig root keep, here's my hit. Don't look where you're firing. Just look at a t look a tiny bit. Don't look that much. Shoot your arrow once it's on fire on red team or blue team, and then it's probably gonna hit somebody. I mean, there's a lot of players who are just running around with melee weapons. You're the one who gets the advantage. Then the Machina. Uh, so on the full charge, it's actually really OP because. On full charge, you can kill a heavy with a medic healing him full rate. That's f it's does 500 damage. 500 damage. That can go. It can go through uh, maybe three people. I've done it with two people before. I don't know about three people. Then I use the cozy camper. Cozy camper is good. Sometimes Razorback. Sometimes cleaners go buying. Um, Cleaner's Carbine is good SMG, Razorback, Box of Symbol, Backstab Attempt. The Cozy Camper gives you, um, more health once you get hit. It doesn't give you Jurati. It looks like it gives you Jurati. It doesn't. And there's the Trimen Shiv. On hit, bleed for five, sec six seconds. And then I use the Bushwalker. Okay. Crits whenever I would normally mini crit. That's actually pretty good. Because if you get a crit, when it would have made a crit, you can kill people almost instantly with two k hits. That's very good. Then the trying men shiv, you hit people, it does damage, and then they bleed. I mean, that's pretty good, considering that it's a knife, a uh, melee weapon. Then, spy. I spy. I sometimes use your eternal reward. Depends on how I'm feeling. Knife is actually sometimes good for lower class people. I wouldn't say I'm lower class. Um, Dead Ringer. It's actually very good for advanced players. I like to use the Cloak and Dagger a little more. You can actually have an infinite cloaking. It's not going to do like the full cloak, but it will definitely do um, <coughs> give you some kind of cloak. It's not the best cloak, it's not fully invisible, but it's ver still good. <coughs> and then the diamond back. Ambassador. Ambassador is for the good snipers, spies. Spy snipers. Spicers. 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 It's for the spi spicers. They use the ambassador. It's slower speed, two shot KO for about a sniper with full health that's pretty good but the speed is a little slower it doesn't matter if you, you just need to get one headshot and then one body shot it just needs to hit them revolver sometimes default is good i don't ever use the default i use the diamond back one guaranteed hit for each building destroyed with your zapper or backstab kill that's actually very good for getting away you can pull out your diamond back and start shooting people Consider that. That's that's actually pretty good. Zapper, I use the zapper. Red tape recorder, never tried it, never will. Just kidding. Um <coughs> let's go back. And then the tough break on um, the gun metal update is very cool. Look at all these weapons. I mean, there will be definitely very cool weapons like Night Owl, um Shot in the Dark. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the upper hand, but, um, I like Sniper. That's just how I play. I feel that Sniper is one of the best, because Sniper is really fun. Headshots, 360 no-scopes, you know. Um, I'm a good Sniper. I don't know about other people. Some people, like, are good medics. Some people are good soldiers. Some people are good scouts. I'm like a mix of all. We're all basically, a m sometimes people are a mix of all, but, uh, it all depends on how much you've played and what you like to do, so, um, thank you for watching, hope you like this video, this was unboxing in Team Fortress 2 Gunmetal, um, thank you for watching, uh, if you really want to unbox, I would suggest doing it this weekend because they have a sale. Uh, t
Valve is having a sale, so I would definitely check it out. If you don't want it, it's okay. I mean, it's total, um, it's kind of random. You can get the okay guns, and you can get the very bad guns, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, it all depends on how you feel. If you like, uh, taking a risk, then ice, then you'd probably want to unbox, but it's totally your choice. I mean, um, it's totally your choice, like I just said. Um, you can get really good guns, you can get okay guns, you can get bad guns, it all depends, but, uh, unboxing is more of, uh, color, see, uh, let's go back, um, color, uh, see, this is all the, the top is the red, which is right here, on the red rock and the sand cannon, and the psychic slither purple range, Oh, the purple range is very cool. I I would suggest uh, trying it. Wait, no, you can't try. My bad. Um, <coughs> uh, there are also night owl. Um, the woodsy widowmaker. Oh, that one is actually a very cool one. Um, <coughs> it all depends on how you feel about the colors. I mean, I like kind of light colors like the king of the jungle some of them are brain c there's this one called brain candy aquamarine is kind of cool um i mean it's all your choice but thank you for watching i hope you like this video check check out the gunmetal update it's very cool uh i'm pretty sure they're gonna update it in like six months i mean the sale is gonna probably gonna last for about maybe a week or two but uh, please ch check it out. I love unbo unboxing stuff. It's very fun. This was my second time unboxing. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video. Um, this was Sweet Pea Gaming, uh, uh, and Sweet Pea is the out.